the northern lights may be visible across southern New England. The aurora borealis may be visible between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. As 12 News meteorologist Stephen Matrograno tells us, this occurrence is a rare one. For the first time in 19 years, NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center has issued a G4 geomagnetic storm watch. Solar flares that left the sun have been approaching Earth and are expected to peak in their arrival later Friday night. The Space Weather Prediction Center, or SWPC, says the northern lights may be visible as far south as Alabama. The center issued a G4 geomagnetic storm watch in anticipation for this phenomena. This is the first time a G4 geomagnetic storm watch has been issued since January 2005, over 19 years ago. The strength of the solar flares and their impacts is based on a scale of G1 to G5, with G5 being the most severe, as the power of the solar flares is expected to reach an 8 on the K-index. The impact of solar flares doesn't quite impact us humans at the surface, but it can have an impact on satellites and GPS navigation, radio transmitters, and in some cases, even power grids. The best way to view the northern lights is anywhere with a good view of the north sky away from city lights. The further north you go, the better chance you have of seeing some color in the sky. But the biggest factor will be cloud cover. You want clear skies and for the timing of the flares to be just right as they enter the Earth's atmosphere. The glow or hue should be visible to the naked eye, but let your eyes adjust to the darkness. And if you're looking to take pictures of the northern lights, you'll need to do so by taking long exposures. So my advice is set those alarms and take a look outside tonight as the northern lights don't come around this area that often. In the Weather Yard, I'm meteorologist Stephen Matragrano, 12 News.